So in this example, again, we've talked about this. We have a continuous, sorry, and we have it on a closed interval. So the first thing I would recommend doing, guys, is we want to find our critical number. So I'm going to take f of prime of x. We know that equals 2x, right? But our critical number is going to be when our f, when our f prime is equal to 0. So what number makes that true? So replace f prime of x with 0. So that is one of my critical numbers. So therefore, we have a left endpoint, we have a right endpoint, and we have one critical number. Our extrema have to occur at our endpoints or at our critical number, right? And that's all we're asking right now is what is our extrema? What is our max and what is our um, min? So therefore, I'm just going to do f of negative 3. I'm going to do f of 3, and I'm going to do f of 0. Well, from Sarah, that's 9. That's 9. And that's 0. So therefore, we can say our absolute min is, um, is equal to 0, and our absolute max is going to equal to 9. You could also write them as coordinate points where you'd have two absolute max. So you'd say our absolute max could be negative 3 and 9 and 3 and 9, and our absolute min would be 0 comma 0. 